Welcome into Red Empress Tarot. I'm Patty. I'm an intuitive, a reader, and a healer on the Twin Flame path myself here to read you a message for your Twin Flame journey. I believe that if you have found this video and this channel, you've been guided to do so. Uh, if you love the content, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the tribe. Make sure that you tap into your intuition. Make sure that you are following your internal guidance. It's really important. And every thumbs up to the video is so valuable. I love every one of you. Thank you so much. And let's go ahead and get into the reading. Welcome all to this Twin Flame Torrent reading. If you guys have never been in a torrent reading before, it is a purely channeled reading with no structure. I literally take everything that spirit has to bring, um, no matter where it's from. Sometimes I channel songs, messages through tarot, oracle, other divination tools, charms. It could be anything. Okay, we'll probably get some initials at the end. I like to do that so you can kind of see um, what initials of what people might be involved here. It's not always, but it does help sometimes. So let's get a little Palo Santo, clear the energy of the space, and get going. Welcome to my subscribers. I'm so happy to see you back. I love you guys. We have the best Twin Flame community here. I really am so um, happy with, with every single person that interacts on this channel and um, the kind of energy that we bring here. And it's growing all the time, which I absolutely love. We're reaching more people that need the support and the guidance and the community. You know, um, Twin Flame community is unlike any other. And um, a lot of the world doesn't understand it. So it's really, really good to have people around you that do. All right. Let's get nuts. lots of really good smoke here. Clear all the energy from my cards, crystals, other divination tools, some for me, some for you guys, and we're good there. Spirits, angels, guides, ancestors, protectors, thank you for being with me here today and always. I'm so appreciative of your presence in my life. Help me be a clear and accurate channel for messages that come out for the watchers of this video and let all the messages be for the highest good of all parties involved. Okay, grounding. Protecting. Archangel Michael, surround me with your protection as I surround myself with a bubble of white light protection. Okay. Good to go. So let's see um, what spirit brings this time. I'm going to do a combination of different oracle cards, I think. I, I don't usually do it this way, but I'm feeling it. Um, let me get the different decks that I'm seeing in my mind's eye. I haven't used this in a while either. And I'm feeling... What it... Hold on. Yeah. All right. All right, this is everything. So I'm going to do a series of oracle cards. I'm going to do three of each. And we'll get the energy. So I'm going to start with the um, Wild Unknown Archetypes. Tell me about this Twin Flame connection that we're channeling in. It's for a small group of people that will watch this video. Make sure that you're tapping into your intuition to see if this fits your energy. Um, if you're guided here, usually there's a message for you, um, but it's not always the whole message, um, but it will be for some people. Um, and let me know in the comments what's resonating for you. So we've got the river. That's interesting. There's like a mirror image of a horse in, in water. Or actually, it looks like a broken mirror. And then we've got the king. I don't take reversals on these. The river, the king. It's got a king of, of pentacles or a king of wands vibe. And it's like a combo, actually. 
what's in their hand is like a wax seal, but it looks a bit like a pentacle, but then there's these rays surrounding it, which makes me feel wands. So king energy, the river, the dark horse, dark horse, and a rainbow color. One more. Okay. Well, we get two more. We get what we get. All right. And then we've got the poet and the tear. Someone here could be a writer. Someone here has a way with words. And that there's like a lot of um, things floating around in their head all the time. Like all the time. Look at all of the birds here. Oh, wow. I just had some, something finish um, uploading. That was good, um, good confirmation on this. There is someone here that's very good with words. And there's like this information or thoughts or feelings or emotion. Um, a lot of it is an emotional thought floating around in their head like at all times. A hundred tabs open. And the tear. It's like a third eye, but the third eye is kind of enshrouded. It's like, it's not enshrouded. It's like um, a, a, it's like there's a shield around it, a shield. And then the tear looks like an emerald. So green is heart chakra and the emerald is good for clearing the heart chakra. So um, it's, it's like um, the tear is like cleansing the heart chakra, you know, tears are cleansing. There's something, okay, there's something here about someone. It's, it's a king, so it feels like a masculine energy and there's a lot of emotion um, surrounding this person is really an incredibly emotional person. I mean the river, a river of emotion and a river of thought. This this is someone that could be easily overwhelmed and maybe um, like have a, a hard time containing it like depression or um, and tears are cleansing for this person right now. This is someone that's crying um, to release pent up emotion and too much. They're crying and they're writing. That's what I'm getting. Maybe they journal. Maybe they actually are a writer. Maybe they write stories. Maybe they write poetry. But they're clearing their, their self. They're clearing out, like purging. It's a purging feeling. Because their third eye is, it's got like the, I mean, it's open, right? But there's a shield around it, almost like trying to protect themselves. It's trying to protect themselves from everything. All too much input. It's like there's a, it's myopic. So... Um, um, so it's just like keeping everything small so you can see but you're like seeing through a smaller lens because if you opened up and looked at everything at once it would be way too overwhelming this per person wouldn't be able to deal so they've got they've got a shield around their third eye so like it's a smaller lens so okay so I'm seeing myself watching horror movies <laughs> I don't like horror movies um, but occasionally or something really suspenseful right but um, if, if a scary or really suspenseful scene comes up in a movie and I'm, I'm, I'm like legitimately a little scared, I, I pull my shirt up. I wish you could see me, but no, I don't wish I could see me. I'm not like, I'm ready for bed. But <laughs> this reading came out of nowhere. I wasn't going to do this one, but all of a sudden I'm like, I got to do a reading. Um, but anyway, I pull, I pull my shirt up over my eyes, over my nose and my eyes. And then I like peek out over just like the, the edge of my shirt to, to make the field of vision smaller so it's less scary. And that's what I'm getting. <laughs> that's the kind of energy. I'm sure this person doesn't do that physically. Like I'm kind of crazy. But um, this person is doing that like their, their eyes opening, their third eye is opening and all of this stuff is flooding in. 
right? There's all of this input. It's it's like autism when you're overstimulated and like there's too much and so you freak out. Um, I have a meltdown, right? It's too much stimulus. So this person, they're like, they're the divine is protecting them. They're opening it slowly. There's a shield around the third eye. So they're opening it slowly so this person can acclimate. And even in the slowness, it's a lot. This person is powerful, really freaking powerful. They're going to be able to see a lot. They're going to be able to see far. I'm seeing distance. I'm seeing like um, being able to see all the way to the horizon. Um, this person can see. This person is incredibly psychically gifted. And I think that that was blocked. But they're coming into this king energy with it, this creative, passionate, powerful. But they're also stabilizing here with this palm up with this round coin like thing in the middle it makes it feels like pentacles it feels like stabilizing so even though they have all this power radiating and creativity radiating from them they're also they have a stabilizing energy and this the shield around the third eye is kind of stabilizing there's a lot of emotion and a lot of knowledge that's just it's a river of it a river of emotion and knowledge and the dark horse reflected in the mirror here, it's upside down. It's a reflection. This person has been a dark horse. They've been in the shadows, in the background, their whole life. This, this is all new to this person, all new. And all of a sudden, it's all flooding in. Wow. Okay. So, Spirits of Darkness and Light, we're going to get some of those. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we got. What's for this energy, for this twin flame connection, this person just waking up and seeing, and it's like the divine is protecting them. They're seeing so much that they're crying, literally crying. They're physically crying. <sighs> okay, we got um, Spirit of Alchemy, Manifestation, Skill, Transmutation, this person is incredibly psychically gifted. Spirit of the moon, visions, dreams. This person is having visions and dreams. Oh my God. <laughs> this is an incredibly clear reading. These two go together. Um, incubus, succubus, sexual obsession. Oh, they're seeing very clearly about someone in their life being toxic as fuck this person has someone in their life that is incredibly toxic spirit of possession someone that has tr been trying to control them this person is sexually obsessive with them unhealthy oh my god passion creativity spirit of fire but here's your person, and then this goes right with the king here. All of this fire radiating out. This wands energy. Twin flame connection for sure. Look at the two flames on the deer's antlers. That's a twin flame connection. Divinely guided. The, I mean, the divines. I always see deer in, in tarot or oracle cards as the divine. God, spirit, however you want to say it. And his antlers are on fire. It's like divinely guided twin flame connection. It's a really, really powerful one because this person has incredible gift. Their counterpart's going to be just as powerful. That's how that works. But this person didn't know. And all of a sudden, it's like handing a Ferrari to someone that just learned to drive. You know, psh, you got to be careful. That's why the shield around the third eye. You got to be careful learning how to use this. But this person can see now this person around them who is obsessive, is trying to possess them. Spirit of skulls, depression, illness, melancholy. This person is this person around them has depression issues and, and probably some mental illness. And this person is finally starting to understand this about them. In their awakening, they're seeing it. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
What else do we have here? This person disturbs me. I just did um, the Zodiac readings earlier today. I really wasn't going to do another reading. I was actually getting ready for bed, and all of a sudden I got this download. I'm like, go do another, another reading. The Eagle King, the big picture, angelic help. So this king is getting help from the angels, and they're starting to really open up and see what I said, the big picture. What did I say? They can see everything now. This person is awakened. What else do we have here? There's something that you need to know about this person, this, this person around the, the masculine energy, the king energy here. I'm getting masculine energy from this. It doesn't have to be male, but it's masculine for sure. I mean, the writer, the poet, I guess that could be either the masculine or the feminine, but there's definitely at the root of this is the masculine energy awakening, awakening up. And I do really feel like they have some kind of gift for words, honestly. They write, and they're powerful at it. They're, um, they might even be well-known or um, they, um, they get through to people. They elicit response in people elicit emotion because they have so much man this is crazy what else do we get from this deck what else do we get from this deck what else do we get from this deck on this situation is there another card here is there another card The wise woman of wonderland, integrity and compromise. Let me just take a look. It's Alice in Wonderland aged. It's, it's, it's literally, it's, she's sitting on a toadstool. There's the white rabbit at the bottom. It's Alice in Wonderland, but wizened. The wise woman of wonderland. It's Alice who chose to follow the white rabbit and stay in Wonderland, and she, she aged, but she's happy. She's holding a wand, an ace of wands here. And the rabbit's not running anymore, it's just tame. She's tamed the rabbit. We have the Eagle King who has seen the big picture and in touch with angels, the guides on the other side, right? This person is very awakened and very in touch. And then we have this wise woman of Wonderland, this, this um, companion of the Eagle King. And you know, I usually see the white rabbit as the masculine, especially in a twin flame connection, because you know that Alice follows the rabbit down the rabbit hole. And um, that's a runner chaser dynamic where the Alice is the feminine running after the masculine into a rabbit hole. I mean, the twin flame journey is a giant rabbit hole. We all know that. If, you, if you've been in it for a while, you know. Um, there are a lot of pitfalls and places you can get stuck in the journey if you don't open up and learn what you need to learn and continue on your own journey. If you fixate on the other person's journey too much, especially I'm talking about feminines. Feminines, if you fixate on the masculine's journey too much, um, you can get trapped. You know, you have to to um, let the masculine do their journey and do your own and, and be happy on a parallel path but separate for a while. Um, but this is a feminine here. This is not this other person with uh, depression and and um, mental illness trying to control the masculine. This is actually the divine feminine energy, the wise woman of Wonderland. She went down the rabbit hole, but then she learned. And she mastered the journey, is what I'm getting. Let's see if there's one more in this deck. Is there another one in this deck? Is there another one in this deck? The diamond dreamer, material wealth, true prosperity. Huh. 
I just feel like it's a side message for this masculine and this feminine. You know, the, the true prosperity actually is in learning and, and expanding and um, expanding your own consciousness. But it's not... Um, expanding your consciousness and material wealth are not mutually exclusive. You don't have to give up all possessions and things um, in this lifetime to be considered wise and um, and far-seeing. In fact, it's just the opposite. Things are here for you to enjoy. You're supposed to enjoy them. So there's a little message here, the Diamond Dreamer. It's okay um, to enjoy the material wealth and the material things and to draw that into you and to use that to enhance your experience in this lifetime. It's just not okay to make that your focus. It's You have to look at money and um, possessions as um, tools and yourself as um, what you're working on and not the other way around. A lot of people work on their money, work on their money, work on their money. Well, you, I mean, you shouldn't spend so much time working on your tools. It's really about using the tools to accomplish what you want in your life. Your, your life is the goal, not the money. But um, it, it, I think there's just like a little message here. And I know that's a little bit separate from this, but if there's been like a stress about that, like I need to focus less on money, well, you can't make it the focus of your life. You can't make it the end all be all because it is a tool. But it's okay to have tools. It's spoken from a woman that loves her tools. Trust me. Um, that's not a metaphor for money. I really love tools. It's a thing. So, I'm feeling like another deck. So, I want, I want the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Let's see what we get from this. I want more on this karmic person with the depression that's trying to control the masculine. He's seeing it now. I'm getting like eyes open seeing it, which is great. Really, really into alchemy. This person doesn't understand or didn't understand before how powerful they are in their manifestation skills. They have incredible, this is master manifester energy. Beyond the ordinary, far beyond the ordinary, this masculine energy waking up is going to start understanding that um, their gifts, their power is far beyond the ordinary. Really powerful. What else do we have here? That card is, it just, it smacks um, esoteric ability, psychic ability, whatever, whatever your clairs are, it smacks of being able to see. Birds of a feather. And look here, in this, in this eye opening um, experience for this masculine, he's going to start seeing um, who he fits with, finding his soul tribe, finding his community. And that includes the feminine and understanding who is not part of your community, your real community. I want more on this. Maybe it doesn't want to give me a lot. Maybe it just wanted to touch on that he's seeing that, but kind of want more on that karmic. Very curious about that. Maybe we'll get those in the Modern Love Oracle, though. Okay. Ooh, that flipped out and flipped back. A tall tail. Ah, lies. Oh, and a tall tale is not a small lie. A tall tale is built lies over time. A tall tale is when you when you catch a fish that's that big and it and it like falls off the hook and you don't even keep it and you go home. I caught a fish this big and the next person I caught a fish this big and the next person I caught a shark and the next person I caught a whale and um, that's a tall tale. So this person told a lie and then that lie expanded. And told the lie and then that lie expanded and expanded until they believed it there are people that lie so much that they start to believe their lies they're they're the really dangerous ones because it's hard to tell 
they don't have as many tails because they actually believe it. Um, and I'm hearing, oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we pressed it. Practice to deceive. This person practiced at it. They had actually worked at this web of lies that they built up. But he, they're seeing it now. The masculine's seeing it now. Beautiful uncaging. A beautiful uncaging. This is the masculine coming out of being locked up and just in this opening, third eye opening energy, in this expansive energy, there's so much creativity and fire and spark and beauty. And that's, I mean, sometimes you cry because something is so beautiful. I mean, literally this masculine is spending a lot of time crying. I'm sorry. Um, it's going to resonate. And this is someone that you normally wouldn't see that way. But they're, they're starting to understand that, first of all, it's okay because we're all human. Um, and the overwhelm for this person in this uncaging, in this opening up, in this expansion. Wow. Okay. What are we going to get from my deck? This is the Red Empress Modern Love Oracle. Um, it is for sale uh, in the description of all my recent videos. Okay. All right. Sandcastle. Unsteady um, foundation here with this person. This is someone they built a foundation with. The masculine actually built a foundation with this person. And now they're starting to understand that it's completely unstable. This person is unstable. And they're seeing it now. What else are we getting? What else are we getting? Um, wish come true. This thoughts become things. This is understanding your manifestation ability. That's what this card is about. Understanding. This goes with the spirit of alchemy here. Understanding your power. And look, what, what was under that but power. Standing in your power. Understanding your gifts and abilities. Wow, when, if you are the feminine and this is your masculine, when you talk to the gem, them again, when you see them again, when you connect again, because I feel like you will, they, they are going to be unrecognizable. And not, I mean, in their appearance, because you, when you change on the inside, your outward appearance tends to change too, things about it. This person is going to be lit up from the inside. You are going to hardly recognize them in the best way possible. Is there anything else? Anything else? Okay. Yeah, this masculine is breaking free from this karmic connection. There, for a long time, he was undecided about this. It was so unclear. He couldn't see the path away from it. But now his, his eyes are so open. He's taking time to think now. He's really going within on this. And he's seeing the, the darkness of this person. What I want to... Tell me more about this karmic person. There's something we need to know. Restriction. They've, they've tried to restrict the masculine. We saw the spirit of possession here. It was the first card that came out. And it was an energy of wanting to possess, to control. It's a very controlling energy. This karmic person really tried to um, block the masculine, limit them. Um, they're very inflexible about it and very dark. Block, block, block. I'm seeing block. What am I hearing about that? This is someone that the masculine really believed was a, a confident, like a true friend. Um, but they just put up barriers to the transformation, the masculine's transformation. They just put up barriers. So the masculine had to kind of stay stuck. That's what they were after. Blocks. And no trespassing. Here's boundaries again. Blocks and boundaries. Silent. Making a move. Missing someone vacant alone. Okay, what I'm hearing from this block energy 
this is the age of social media and I'm, I'm getting, I'm seeing like, okay, so you know when you go to Facebook, um, and it could be other social media too, any social media, if this masculine has social media accounts, this karmic has actually gained access to their social and media accounts and blocked people. So the masculine wouldn't know. I bet you the masculine doesn't block people. This karmic actually got into the accounts and blocked like friends, rel any, anyone they don't want the masculine to talk about, they actually went in. If you were a masculine energy or if you were a feminine energy, energy with, that has had a karmic masculine around you, just, I know it sounds crazy because how do people get in our social media accounts, right? I know it sounds crazy, but what can it hurt? Go to your social media accounts, go to the block section and just open it up and see if anyone is blocked that you don't expect to be. You may find some interesting things. Someone will. This isn't for everyone, clearly. Not everyone is this cuckoo to do something like that. Who wants to control someone to that degree? But this person does. They're this like mental illness here. Really, there's something really unhealthy and dark here. Really unhealthy and dark. Restrictions, block, block. But they're breaking free of it. I'm, I'm not kidding. Just go check your social media. If you've had someone karmic around you, if you've had someone that's jealous around you of other people, of family, of friends, someone that tries to isolate you from people that you care about, it could be even just they block the feminine so the masculine can't, the feminine can't reach out. It's something like that. Now, I am not saying that every masculine out there has a crazy karmic that went in and blocked you. If you've been blocked from your masculine, they may have done it. I mean, seriously, that happens. You know, we get overwhelmed and we can't talk to people and we just do things like that. Um, but for somebody, for somebody, their karmic person, it could have been a family member, it could have been a romantic person. I get more of a romantic person from this vibe, but could have been anybody got into your social media and went a blocking. Just saying, check it out. Can't hurt. If it's not there, it's not there. If you found that, can you tell me? <laughs> Very curious to know who this is because I know it's someone. All right. I feel like we got enough cards here. I, I'm just going to set this to the side. Really trying to keep this masculine silent, mute, tongue tied, not communicating by blocking people. Don't want this masculine talking to other people. It's like that really, it's, it's that energy. It's a very abusive energy. You know, people get into abusive relationships and they don't want their partner to, they literally isolate their partner so they have no family or friends to go to. That's what I'm seeing. I'm going to get zodiac signs. I feel like zodiac signs. I don't usually do these because I feel like usually it's just the energy of the cards. That's why I don't call out zodiac signs very often unless I'm guided to. But let's get a few. This could be your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Twin twin connection. It could be your north node. It could be your persons. I'm just going to get a few. I'm not going to get too many. Okay. All right, we have got Taurus, we have got Aquarius, and we've got Aries. Interesting. Two of them are um, quite horned creatures, Taurus and Aries, the ram and the bull, and then Aquarius, the water bearer. So, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, if you have high placements here or your, your person has pla high placements here, that might be a little extra confirmation. I'm hearing one more. Hold on. Um, we got Aquarius again. Double confirmation on Aquarius. Also, check your North Node. Don't, don't forget that. Okay. 
Let's get some initials, see what we get. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot. I don't like to get that many, okay. We got S, we got N, we got F. Sniff, Does, did someone recently put um, a loved one or are they visiting a loved one in a skilled nursing facility, like a, a nursing home? Someone doesn't want to be named here. R, that's what you call a skilled nursing facility or a nursing home is a sniff if you're a medical provider, it's just like a code. Um, two Fs here. I got two Fs in a reading that I did earlier today too. You might want to check out those Zodiac readings. P, H, M, another H. Someone has double letters in their name. First name, last name, middle name, nickname. G, someone here. This karmic person does not want to be found out with this blank here. I got that. I got two blanks in a reading earlier. There's someone doing dark work that does not want to be found out. They are mentally unstable and they're working in, in dark crap. They're, they might be doing something as simple as love spells, which are dark to me because that's messing with people's free will and you don't do that. Um, or they could be doing something more dangerous in dark work. You know, it's... A, they could be doing Santeria, they could be doing Voodoo, they could you know, they could be hiring someone to do that for them. It's crazy what people will do. Don't do any of that stuff. You don't need it. Um, chi, again, someone might be doing Tai Chi or um, energy healing. Maybe you're going to an energy healer, maybe you're studying Reiki, something like that. Maybe you play Scrabble a lot and you know that chi is a really easy word to make with a Q. <laughs> Just saying. Um, E-R-M. Oh, well. Someone might be pregnant. Because <laughs> I can spell something here that would indicate that. Or someone might have been doing fertility treatments. So, what am I getting there? Holy shit. This karmic may have been using condoms with someone and they kept them and tried to impregnate themselves. And people do that. I know it sounds weird and crazy, but actually people will do that. They'll retrieve it from the trash or something like that. Get a turkey baster. I'm not suggesting you do that. That's horrible. Horrendous. But this karmic is crazy enough to do something like that. To try and say, oh, the condom failed. Try and entrap the masculine. And we know that's a female body karmic on that one, right? It's not always. Someone might be involved in politics. Maybe they run for political office or something like that. Um, is someone growing ferns in their backyard or in their house or something like that? I know a lot of people have ferns, but that might be an indicator for someone. There, if maybe it's like a recent thing, or maybe they're just really proud of them. I get again, um, sir. Someone likes to be called sir. It, it could be like a DS kind of connection. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> I usually don't know if these three little words, I don't usually get it, but meh. There might have been like a like a an ennui lately, like uh I don't care about much for someone. It's feeling like this is never going anywhere. I, I feel like that's a feminine energy. Just kinda hanging back and like eh. Feeling just kinda neutral or not even neutral, just kinda blank. Not numb, not bad, just blank. Sometimes we just need a mental rest from all this stuff. That's okay. Um, Penelope, Penny. Hanson, someone's name might be Hanson. <laughs> I'm getting Hefner. Are you related to the Hue? Maybe, I don't know. Um,
Uh, has, did someone have a power surge lately? Like your power went out? Like real recent, real recent in the last week or two? Some of these things are just markers to let you know that if it's yours or not. And they're not going to, um, someone has fruit trees in their backyard. And maybe like something is just coming ripe. Um, did someone just like rip their clothes um, within the last week, like you were walking and caught it on a door jam or something like that, or caught it in something and you like ripped a favorite shirt or something? I'm also seeing, um, I don't have all the letters, but it doesn't matter. I'm seeing framed, like someone might have, um, might have tried to frame someone and that doesn't always have to mean like with the police but someone might have like tried to make someone look guilty for something that they weren't to get their way to, to manipulate and control they could okay this karmic person could be that one of their ish the ways to control could be hanging something over the masculine's head like i know this about you even if like this much is true like say this much is true they're going to go say that this much is true. So there's like this inkling of truth. They're going to make it into something big and they've got this little bit of proof, but it's going to make it look like what they're saying is true. And they're holding that over the mouth. They've been holding that over the masculine's head, like leave me and I'm going to make you look like shit. Frame, framed. Could even be something illegal, like they've done something illegal and they're going to implicate. Even even if the masculine, like maybe maybe they did something, the karmic did something illegal. And the masculine was involved in this little itty bitty way somehow and they didn't even understand it or know about it. But they're going to make them look like they were in on it too. This is not for everyone, this is for like one person. A lot of these things are for one person. So if this isn't your story, don't think it can't be your reading. Because um, we have similar journeys and things that happen. I'm seeing police for someone, though. I just saw pigs. Someone called police pigs. I don't call them that. I don't like that. But there's someone that does call them that. Fenway Park, too. Does someone live near Fenway Park? Or is it your dream to go there uh, for a baseball game? Um, someone has really nice hips. <laughs> that's funny I think the masculine like enjoys the feminine's hips it's a big deal their backside and their hips is like their thing in life and they really like the feminines or I don't know sometimes I get stuff and I'm like where does this come from for some people this is a serious no contact situation I get gone like completely gone from each other um, this karmic, I'm seeing frenetic, this karmic may like, um, have frenetic actions. Sometimes when they're uh, agitated or upset, they do things that are like, um, um, physically like mess with things. Maybe they fidget, maybe they do something like I'm seeing this. Or tapping or tapping clicking pens stuff like that this karmic might do that they also might use some kind of drugs that um, string them out a little bit sometimes and they get like itchy if they don't have it or it could be the same thing with drinking if they drink too much they get itchy if they don't um, have a drink and they they do things like that okay I'm gonna be done with that <laughs> done with this energy please hit the like on the video thank you so much for the people that do that I know like five percent of people on YouTube actually take the time to hit the like and it's really really valuable I appreciate it greatly for every single person that does it so thank you and then subscribe if you're new I'm gonna be doing a live on Thursday um, 7 p Pacific and also um, for those of you who stayed to the end thank you um, you'll also know that in the next Twin Flame Torrent message, if in this one, if you put in draw me a card, in the next Twin Flame Torrent message that I actually record, I've already recorded the next one coming up, so it won't be that one. 
But in the next one I record, I will draw you a personal message at the end of the reading and do a mini reading on one card. I'm doing that for all my readings right now. So if you go into, say, the Virgo reading, and in the comments you say, card please, or draw me a card, in the next Virgo reading, I will draw you a card at the end and do that little mini reading at the end for every person that asks. Okay, so don't forget that. Love you guys. I'm live on um, Thursdays right now, 7 p.m. Pacific. Um, $15 for one question, $25 for two. If you've got a burning question you want answered, we can work on that for you. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time.